Dienaba Diop is a member of the center-left Socialist Party and has been elected to the French Parliament for the first time. She's part of the left-wing alliance, the New Popular Front, which was hastily put together to beat back the surging far right in recent elections. I'm so happy that we have been able to be focused on the most important for us, it's just to preserve our country uh, from uh, uh, this ideology that we have fought so many years ago, and we know how awful it can be, yeah, you know, and um, the values of our republic have been more than um, the anger and the, the fear of the other, and I'm very proud of it. But the far right's defeat is the only certainty this election has produced. The left-wing alliance, the New Popular Front, may have won the most number of seats in the French Parliament or the Assemblée Nationale, but by no means do they have the absolute majority, that is 289 seats. They simply don't have the numbers to govern alone. And there are deep divisions among the parties that make up this alliance about the way forward. One big reason for that disunity is this man, Jean-Luc Mélenchon. He heads the biggest party in the alliance, the radical left, France Unbowed Party. He's a polarizing figure, reviled by President Macron's centrist camp, who came in second in this election. They warn the new Popular Front's plans for the economy would be disastrous. But the radical left bloc argues voters elected them for their program. If we've succeeded in pushing back the far right in this election, that's because we've stirred hope among voters. If we dash those hopes, a lot of voters will then say, OK, we'll turn to the far right. The center-left Socialist Party says it's more open to compromise, so it's best place to run France. We came out on top on the left in European elections just a month ago. We've made the most progress as a group. We've nearly doubled our MPs. We're a party that's already governed France, and we're a party that builds the bridge between the radical left and the center left. And bridge building is exactly what will be needed to overcome the deep distrust and divisions. First time MP Diana Badiop says this toxic atmosphere needs to change. I think that we will have to learn from Germany or with the European Parliament and we have to um, learn how to get a consensus, um, a majority about the project. If we are not able to do that, we know that in 2027, this time, we will not be able to stop uh, the national resolution, the extreme right to get um, to get the behavior of our country. MPs will formally begin their work here in Parliament when it holds its first session. Their most pressing task will be to try and cobble together a working, stable government, any which way they can. Don't miss out. Follow One India for real-time updates.